Local land carers have been regenerating multiple reserves on the Coal Point Peninsula since 1995, except for one that was beyond the capacity of the group due to the overwhelming infestation of asparagus fern. Thanks to the support of Lake Macquarie City Council and Fire and Rescue, that changed on the 6th of April 2016. I'd been uh, talking to the land care um, teams and, and looking for sites that we can burn that would satisfy hazard reduction but also have some great benefits of, uh, with the ecology of areas. So this is an area that was identified by a previous land care supervisor. So that's where it started. But you can see the root mass is huge. So this actually will prevent germination of native plants because it's such a bulky biomass. In terms of trying to get regeneration to happen, it needs it is just a massive this biomass here. It would be nice to take it all away, but it's not practical. Uh, looking back over the site um, since the burn, there was a, a lot of habitat loss. The, a, a lot of huge logs that were on the ground were just totally incinerated, like uh, really soft ash piles that stayed uh, uh, a legacy to these huge trees. Well, it looks fantastic, but I wish it hadn't got all that damned asparagus grass. But it's done a wonderful job here. Definitely they're going to reduce the biomass that you've got to deal with. So instead of having mass swards, you're going to have seedling regrowth. So definitely the biomass is going to change. There's still a lot more asparagus fern. If your rewards will be paid off now, if you do the hard work now, it's not going to be back to the stage it was prior to the burn. We're assisting the land care group control some asparagus fern. The land care volunteers have been tackling it, cutting it out and also applying glyphosate. Uh, as a test run. Uh, we're here today with a 1.5 gram and 50 to 1 mix of glyphosate, so brush off and glyphosate mix, used correctly with the correct PPE and as I said before taking care to limit the um, off-target damage and excessive amounts into the soil. It can be proved to be very effective. It, it, it's unexplainable. It's so amazing because instead of asparagus fern we have all sorts of things, some of which we've never seen before. Just incredible. And a whole new world is what it is. I think it turned Mission Impossible into a very winnable battle. And I was especially thrilled with all the little native treasures that grew up as soon as the asparagus fern was removed. Lots more of the pandaria, lots more dodonia, lots of understory things that we didn't even know existed. Absolutely wonderful. My first impression is quite easy to see the um, effect of both the burn and the volunteers work. It's always interesting to come in post fire and see how different weeds respond to the fire. Uh, you'll have some weed species that will get knocked out, others all of a sudden it just um, stimulates the, the seed bank that's been building for years. That's what's been obviously happening with the polygala. The other species of introduced weeds in here would be, you, you must include all the annuals that do come up from post-disturbance. So we've got Biden's Pelosa in here, Farmer's Friends. We've got uh, Solanum nigrum, Blackberry Nightshade. Because you've introduced fire, you're actually going to see more for base, so you're actually going to change the mid-story and the understory of the, the uh, reserve as well. Before the burn, the site was really weedy. Um, a lot of asparagus fern, a lot of ochna, uh, African olive, privets, which was more leaf than large leaf, bitter and lantana. Eight months later after the burn, there seems to be some weeds coming up again, but definitely not as much as there used to be. At the moment we're seeing quite a few pea species, definitely your pea vine species are regenerating already so, and also we're noticing a lot of macrosamias that are actually poking their head out from the tubers and the bulbs that were being... and we've actually seen a few orchids today as well that have obviously been hidden bulbs that have been hidden underneath the asparagus fern prior to the burn. What I've noticed is the regeneration of the native growth over the weed 
time where it was covered in asparagus fern and nightshade and inkweed. We're still removing that. The difference is definitely there to see. There's a lot of weeds that have disappeared. General atmosphere or the general ambience is not much nicer. I think we're actually making progress in the area. To see the transition of the plants from ash-covered soil to a forest forming, to see the recovery of the, the mature trees, these have been great lessons for our group. Every burn is different in how the outcomes eventuate, so this is sort of the, the first large-scale burn that we've done to try and treat asparagus fern, so we've learnt from that that it burns quite well and we probably need a hotter burn to get rid of that, that mass. This was a moderate intensity burn and that was to uh, look at controlling some of the weed issues and I think that the outcome has been fantastic.